blessed evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Friday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Father Ronnie Crisostomo, SVD, Rector of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to Sacred Heart will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We take the Mass today for the evangelization of peoples. We ask the Lord to help us, help our church in uh, fulfilling this sacred task of proclaiming the good news that is part precisely of our vocation as Christians, especially on this year in which we celebrate the 500 years of our Christianization as a token of gratitude to God for the faith we have received. We are challenged also to share in this work of evangelization. To celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we ask God for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you have willed that your church be the sacrament of salvation for all nations, so that Christ's saving work may continue to the end of the ages. Stir up, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and grant that they may feel a more urgent call to work for the salvation of every creature, so that from all the peoples on earth, 
one family and one people of your own may arise and increase. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast. To my shame, I say that we were too weak. But what anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking in foolishness, I also dare. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am talking like an insane person. I am still more with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, far worse beatings, and numerous brushes with death. Five times at the hands of the Jews, I received forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. I passed a night and a day on the deep, on frequent journeys in dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own race, Dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, dangers among false brothers, in toil and hardship, through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through frequent fastings, through cold and exposure. And apart from these things, there is a daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am, I am not weak? Who is led to sin, and I am not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard. And from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasure on earth, where moth and decay destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lamp of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will, be, will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed evening to everyone and also to those who are joining us through uh, this live streaming in other parts of the world. As I was listening and meditating on the, the first reading today, you recognize one recognizes the the humanness of uh, the church in many parts of the great part of the uh, letters of paul or to his to these different communities are uh, particular issues difficulties that have arisen within the community. And today, in the first reading, we find a very crucial issue, and that is the le legitimacy of Paul as an apostle. He was being questioned. To understand today's first reading, we have to put ourselves in the shoes of uh, the Apostle Paul, who from the beginning had accompanied the Corinthian community. He seemed to be one, if not the uh, founder of the Christian community there, or at least organized this community. But shortly after, some people have appeared who wanted to discredit him as an apostle, as an uh, as sent by the Lord. Yes, it is true, and he recognized that, that previously in Jerusalem, he persecuted the Christians and many sent them to jail. And these who discredited Paul, he called them super apostles who wanted to destroy what Paul, with so much love and sacrifice, had been sowing in that community of Corinth. Here we have a very real issue that can destroy faith and life of Christians and communities. I'm sure you must have experienced, many of us have experienced this, the disharmony in the community because of envy. Envy among those who want to serve and guide the church, the Christian community. In my 27, 28 years as a priest, this is 
a real issue, I would, I, I would say. And Paul, on the other hand, seems to say his, to his rivals that an esteemed apostle makes himself paid for his services as did those who served, for example, the temple of Jerusalem. They were supported, they were paid. On the other hand, Paul is a poor man who does not take advantage of his listeners or his authority. And when Paul makes this as an appeal to uh, justify his, or his legitimacy as an apostle, he lists down paradoxically not his achievements like founding communities or the trips he made or conversions or the baptisms of which he could boast. Well, rather, he remembered his long journey, missionary journey, and traveled in the shadow of the cross of Christ, meaning he boasted on the sufferings he endured, the deprivations, the fatigue, the persecution and punishment dangers of that. He was trying to say, well, it's easy for you and maybe it is uh, to show that you are super apostles but because you are well paid. But I, doing this missionary work without gaining for myself, now, that was his argument of showing his the legitimacy of his mission. So only in the cross of Christ that every apostle carries and confirms his legitimacy and the power of his word. This is the fundamental lesson that Paul wants to teach us here. He ends up putting God as a witness that everything he said is true and that if he has to boast about anything, it is his weaknesses. Meaning, in spite of his weaknesses, God has called him to be a messenger, an instrument. And what he could achieve were not because of him, but because of the grace of God. A beautiful reminder for all of us who are into the church, called to participate in the mission, that may we come always like Paul to glory only who can boast only in the grace of God, more than our own achievements. In today's Gospel, Matthew reminds us of the words of Jesus to his disciples. Do not treasure, do not accumulate treasures on earth, he said, where moths and woodworm eat them, where thieves open holes and steal them, treasure or make treasures in heaven. Because where your treasure is, there your heart is. Someone said this memorable uh, phrase, the tree does not eat its fruits. It is a way of saying that all beings, including humans, exist 
to give ourselves, not to enclose ourselves. And uh, St. Paul, in uh, the Acts of the Apostles, recalled these words, There is more happiness in giving than in receiving. A proverb of Jesus seems that Paul learned from other Christians because we do not find this in the Gospels, the uh, narratives of the Gospels, but here in the Acts of the Apostles. And it is that human beings that have been made to give and to give ourselves. Our life would change if we could understand that, I think. Like the tree, we are not made to eat our own fruits, but to give them as sustenance for others. Just as fruits rot if they are not picked up. In the same way, our gifts turn out to be infertile if we do not put them at the service of others. The ability to share is not tied up with abundance of resources, but to the generosity of the heart. The generous person, even when going through periods of scarcity, finds within himself or herself the source of joy, just as Jesus revealed. There is more joy in giving than in receiving. Coming down here for Mass, I met two ladies carrying uh, a gift. And they, I, was, I was asking them, what is that for? Para sa kanino yan? Wala po in particular. It is for you fathers. No. Recognizing, ah, Father's Day na sa Sunday, Father, sabi niya. Uh, the, the joy that we can see in people being able to share even in their scarcity and in the midst of the privation. The root, I think, of sadness and loneliness that me, many people live is their inability to give, to share, not only things, but of themselves, of their time. We ask the Lord that gifted, truly gifted by the Lord, we may be able to share generously to others. And may we find treasures in this, in giving, just as the challenge of Jesus today, that we accumulate treasures, not here on earth, but in heaven. And one way of accumulating is precisely in giving. Amen. Jesus challenges us to store up treasures in heaven rather than earthly treasures. Let us set our hearts on heaven as we pray. Lord, reign in our hearts. Lord, reign in our hearts. That the church may free men and women from the slavery of materialism by constantly teaching the values of the kingdom. We pray. Lord, reign in our hearts. That politicians and civil leaders may initiate programs and projects for the integral development of society and its constituents. We pray. Lord, Lord reign in our hearts. That people who are entrusted with great wealth may realize their status as stewards rather than absolute owners of the goods they possess. We pray. 
Lord, reign in, in our, our hearts. hearts. That those who are deprived of the things of this world may realize the beauty of setting one's hearts on heavenly treasures. We pray. Lord, Lord reign, reign in, in our, our hearts. hearts. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal, physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially, and spiritually. May we not give in to fear or panic. May we be agents of love and service to those in need during this pandemic. We pray. Lord, Lord reign, reign in, in our, our hearts. That those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. We pray. Lord, Lord reign, reign in, in our, our hearts. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord reign, reign in, in our, our hearts. In special way, we pray for all missionaries in the world, especially our own Filipino missionaries, that they may be blessed by the Lord in their labors. And may the Philippine Church be ever more aware of her missionary calling as a church, we pray. Lord, Lord reign, reign in our hearts. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us courage to walk in your presence all days of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that these our sacrifice, our prayers, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings and prayers of your church, O Lord, rise up in the sight of your majesty and gain acceptance just as the glorious passion of your Son was pleasing to you for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Mass. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With joy and gratitude in our hearts for having been gifted abundantly by him, we address him with the words, with the prayer our Lord himself taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, we offer to one another Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus Christ, our true treasure, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs> Pangalawa, walang 
Let us pray. May our participation at your table sanctify us, O Lord, we pray, and grant that through the sacrament of your church, all nations may receive in rejoicing the salvation accomplished on the cross by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We now have the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, imploring His mercy and compassion for all of us, for our world that is still struggling because of this pandemic.
graces to the sacred heart of Jesus. Sacred heart of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with deepest reverence, we adore you. You are worthy of the love and adoration of all the heavenly spirits. We unite our adoration with theirs. Honor, Honor love, and, and thanksgiving be to you, you sacred heart, heart of Jesus. Jesus. Praise be the sacred heart of Jesus, inexhaustible fountain of all goodness. May the most sacred heart of Jesus, Jesus be loved, loved everywhere. everywhere. Praise be the benevolent heart of Jesus, for the boundless graces that have flowed and shall continue to flow into the lives of those who trust you. All for you, sacred heart of Jesus. Praise be the gentle heart of Jesus, for the love which so often refreshes devout hearts with consolation. May the heart of Jesus be praised, adored, loved, and thanked at every moment, even to the end of time. Praise be the adorable heart of Jesus, loved, formed, and enriched with heavenly graces by the Holy Spirit. May, May the, the sacred heart, heart of Jesus be known, loved, and imitated. Praise be the loving heart of Jesus, so generous, pure, and full of grace. May, May the heart of Jesus, burning, burning with love for us, inflame our hearts with love of you. Praise be the royal heart of Jesus, victorious over death and sin, triumphant over the living and the dead. Praise, Praise and blessed be the sacred heart and the precious blood of Jesus in the holy sacrament of the altar. Praise be the heart so poor and yet so rich, for having despised all earthly riches, for having renounced all earthly honors. Jesus, meek and, and humble of heart, make our hearts like yours. Praise be the obedient heart of Jesus, which hungered for the fulfillment of the divine will, which thirsted for the greater glory of God and the salvation of all peoples. Heart, heart of, of Jesus, Jesus increase, increase in us faith, hope, and, and love. Praise be the generous heart of Jesus, which did not seek its own glory, patient heart, which willingly bore the greatest insults, unselfish heart, which longed for and lovingly embraced the cross. Heart, heart of Jesus, help, help us to be, to be generous, patient, and selfless. Sacred heart of Jesus, teach us to love you with our whole heart, and grant that according to the little strength we have, we may imitate your sublime virtues. With, With Mary, let us adore, thank, implore, and console the heart of Jesus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. St. Arnold Jansen's Favorite Prayer Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ I adore, I adore you, you as the Son of God, God and through the mediation of your most sweet Mother, I beseech you, send me from the abundance of your loving heart, the grace of the Holy Spirit, to enlighten my ignorance, purify and sanctify my sinful heart, and confirm me in holy love. This I ask of you, through the love of the Father and the Holy Spirit, through the abundance of your infinite mercy, and through the merits of all your saints. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to the loving heart of Jesus our needs, prayers, and intentions.
May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the world and the spirit of grace. And, and may, may the, the heart, heart of Jesus, Jesus live, live in, in the, the hearts, hearts of all. Amen. The Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinadamets, pray for us. Sacramento, venere morcer nui, et anticum documento, no voce da tritui, priset fides supplemento. Sensum defectui Genitori Genetoque Laus et jubilatio Salus honor virtus coque Sit et benedictio Procedenti Autroque Comparsi Laudatio Amen Amen You have given them bread from heaven containing in itself all sweetness let us pray O God in this wonderful sacrament you have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood 
that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption. You who live and rule world without end. Amen. Together we pray. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be His holy name. name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ, Christ through God, God and through man. man. Blessed, Blessed be the, the name of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, Mary most, most Holy. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her Most Chaste Spouse. Blessed be God and His Angels and His Saints. We are inviting couples who would like to renew their marriage vows to join and participate in the Shrine's third renewal of marriage vows on June 27, 2021, Sunday at 8 a.m. Those interested may re register at bit.ly slash Shrine Renewal ng Bayan or send us a message through the Shrine's Facebook page. Thank you, Reverend Father Ronnie Grisostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Please rise. We have celebrated God's love and generosity in this Eucharist. Go and live generously to others. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, and blessed are you, blessed are you among we. Yo! Yeah. 
Say.